Hey guys, so I guess in my previous video I couldn't get the frames per second overlay to show up on the MSI Master Burner, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make it show up. I read this uh, fix online. So you're going to want to go to uh, your Steam folder where uh, The Witcher 3 is. So you're going to go to The Witcher 3, and then you're going to click uh, Bin Folder, and you're going to click X64 DirectX 12, and uh, DirectX 12. Oh, here it is. This folder here, uh, you basically, it's a DLL file, and you want to rename it. You could also delete it, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. Uh, so this folder uh, file, you're going to rename it, and I just put dot .backup, and uh, that's all you got to do. And then click Save, and then uh, the frames like an overlay will show up uh, in the game. So this is uh, running on my AC6 RTX 4090 with a 11, or 200 megahertz core overclock and 1185 megahertz memory overclock. We're at 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160 and my 4K 140Hz display. NVIDIA, low refresh latency is on. Frame generation I currently have off. All the graphics settings are fully maxed out. RRT uh, ray trace reflections. Uh, TA anti-aliasing with late real child DLSS3. Uh, resolution scaling is off. You don't need that in high-end GPUs. Sharpening is on low. And then all the graphics settings are uh, fully maxed out. I have vignetting and chromatic aberration off. And uh, all the framework stuff uh, settings are fully maxed out here. All these uh, detail settings are fully maxed out. So this is 4K resolution without DLSS3. And uh, come on. Visually, I'd say I'm pretty impressed overall, considering that this game is what 2015. So they did a good job uh, making this kind of like refresh the graphics to make it look. Uh, uh, more next gen. So when you show you some of these scenes here with the water and stuff, I think it looks really good. And then uh, we'll try 8K also. So let me go ahead and go to 8K here. So uh, I noticed, uh, at least on my particular display, I have to do borderless to 8K. So I'm not sure if that's an issue for everybody. Uh, but if you go to 8K here, the funny thing is at 8K, the frames per second are still roughly the same as 4K, yet it actually looks even better. So. Interesting uh, Kings do the fighting. thing about it. You can see the VRAM is do the more heavily utilized at 8K, but I think it looks really good. So, if you're on a 4K display and you want 8K graphics to set to 8K, you'll get the same performance, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's uh, experiment with the frame generation. So, frame generation on, and then we go to graphics settings here. And put this on DLSS and set the quality mode. So frame generation DLSS three. Let's go. Looks like we're almost a little over double 124 frames per second. Visual fidelity looks pretty good. Runs good, obviously. Come on now. Okay, so now let's go to 8K here. Or no, sorry, 4K. Then again, Ooh. roughly the same frame per second. Maybe even a little bit lower. Will you raise a glass with me? Okay, so now let's uh, turn this back to TAA and then let's go to display, turn off frame generation. And then let's go to 1440p. I know realistically you wouldn't want to play this game. At 1440p on a 4090, but I know some people have it in this place. So they probably want to see what kind of frames per second you get at 1440p. So there it is. Without DLSS, we're getting about 78 for frames per second, for frame per second compared to 4K, which had around 45 uh, frames per second. So I'd say it still looks pretty good overall. And then again, I'd never do 1080p on 4090, but just for those of you who want to see it. I know some of you like to see it, so we'll go to 1080p here. 1920 by 1080. And it looks like we're getting about 92, 93, 94 frames per second there. Damn witchers! Looks like it's going a little bit higher now, 105. Okay, let me go back to 8K, or not 8K, let's go back to 4K, just so I could play my usual settings here. So 4K. And then again. Take it easy. 
puts it around 48, 40 seconds. Move it. Second. So we'll start moving a little bit faster here. Actually, I gotta go this way. So a little bit faster. I noticed there's a few little stutters here and there, and I noticed a little bit of pop in, but I guess, you know, that's expected with all the extra details they added. Uh, but we'll see how it runs, and uh, we'll do 4K the rest of the video, because when I do 8K videos, they take forever to process. Like, I've had one video that takes 7 days to process, which is Cyberpunk 2077 video, which I did a few days last week, Don't and it took 7 me. days to process in the four, uh, the to above 360p, which is crazy. So now it is available in 8K, but it's like forever. So I'll try to keep this video in uh, 4K mode. Looks like there's a lot of foliage in this game. It looks really, really good, the details and stuff. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. really detailed. Kind of remind, reminds me of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 of all the foliage and trees, forest, of course the horse. And the sun ray, sun rays I think look really good in this one. Really a good job of uh, the sun ray reflections. That's a scary scene. Come on. So let me turn back on the frame generation just to see how much it actually helps. Looks like it basically doubles uh, the performance. So frame generation on, graphics, uh, DLSS, quality. Slower. So that's in quality mode, and then now let's experiment with the lower end. Uh, uh, DLSS settings, so that's quality mode. Performance mode. So about 148 frames per second. Uh, these menus are different from a Cyberpunk, so it's a little bit more confusing for me. Ultra performance. You just gotta give it a few seconds to load. So about 174 to 100. 80, almost, depending on the scene. 160, it's like 160 to 174, probably. Whoa there, Ro And then Derek, I'll show you the bounce setting, just for those of you who want to see it. About 134 frames per second there. Go ahead and turn that off. Just set the quality mode, then I'll turn it off. Quality, and then turn this off. Not sure if I had video, but it's when to do it. So less, next time I use it, I don't have to fiddle with uh, being at a lower setting. So yeah, so 4090 Asus Strix RTX gets uh, 4090 gets about uh, 49 frames per second at 4K here. So come on. Uh, yeah, overall, I'd say it's a pretty good looking game, you know, for what they did. They did a good job of uh, improving the graphics. It's pretty easy. Again, my first time playing the game, so but not too uh, difficult to uh, control using the mouse and keyboard. Okay, so that's that. I didn't make a video too long. I just wanted to basically show you how to uh, enable the MSI Afterburner uh, frames per second settings. Some guys doing some push ups there. And, uh, you know, as always, uh, I guess I want to say thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate all the fine feedback and comments, subscriptions, 
And all the nice things you guys have to say. Even if you guys say something mean, I will still probably love the comment, because that's just the way I am. So until then, see you guys for the next video. I hope this guy, this video was helpful for others to uh, enable the frames for a second. Uh, really. And until then, uh, see you guys for the next video, and uh, peace out.